All right, welcome to my part two, ladies and gentlemen, of my collections video showing off my booklets that came that I collected over the years that come with your games. I'm going through each one. Some of them I'm looking at and showing you guys what I like about each one and what I don't like. Some of them just just showing and just putting them to the side, just going through all my booklets. You know, <clears throat> for the record, this is not even all of them. I still got some I don't even got inside here. Anyways, up next, Need for Speed Carbon, super thin, poorly designed. Need for Speed Carbon Collector's Edition, horrible. Armor Core 3, all the H Tech Armor Core booklets are gonna look sexy, like I already said. You know, they're gonna look nice. This is they do a good job designing their uh, booklets, and this is I mean it's a PS2 game. Red Faction Gorilla, I think I already showed this. Armor Core 4, this is the only Armor Core booklet that's that's horrible. That's in black and white, and look at it, it's on the on 360. They try and force you to buy strategy guides these days, you know. Compare this to, you know, the other Armor Core booklet on the PS2, and it's made by Sega too, so, you know, it's ain't made by H Tech, so. I think it's the first one ever that's not made by H Tech. <laughs> the Getaway Black Monday. And this is kind of designed pretty good, but it's not all that, nothing. Uh, <coughs> uh, Silent Hill 2. I wish this was a like mint condition, but it's not. It's in it's in good condition, and the art design is big as one of the best PS2 design art uh, game booklets ever. One of the best, because I know some other ones I like, like Twisted Metal Black. I like the art design of that, and some other ones I already showed. Max vs. ATV Unleashed. This is the thinnest one, and it's in black and white. So it's horrible. Jeopardy, Mercenaries 2, horrible, one page, liter no, three pages, horrible, Halo 3, all the Halo games always have some good ass art books, you know, it shows exactly how the stuff look in the game, nice color, vibrant color within their art books, they put a lot of, you know, effort into it, I like art books like this, and game booklets because when you look at it on your way home or whatever you're doing getting ready to play the game or something like that or you at work and you waiting to get home and you break this out on your break it makes you want to can't wait to get home or can't wait to pop the game in and play it it makes you feel like you want to play the game you know when you got those black and white three page booklets you don't want to play nothing you're just reading controls that's all you're reading you're not really looking into the game and seeing what it got to offer Need for Speed Most Wanted super thin and horribly designed I love that game though X-Men Legends, the best X-Men game ever, period. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you say. Your mom say, your brother, sister, cousin, uncle, don't matter, you know. Better than Marvel Ultimate uh, X-Men Legends 2 is better than Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 because it makes you feel like you're actually playing an X-Men cartoon when you play this game. But the art book is okay, though. It's not really all that well-designed, and it's in black and white, but it is a PS2 game, but, you know. Some PS2 games look good. Our booklets look good. Another Armor Core 4 booklet. Brought this game twice. Dementium. <clears throat> I like the booklets of Dementium, you know. This one is okay, you know, but the, sec the this one right here, I think this is the second game. Yeah, this is the second game. This one right here, I love how this one look at the little blood stains. It's like you're reading a, a, a hospital pamphlet or, or booklet or something. You know, you go through, and you know, it has like this little nice art design to it. Got your little crazy messages and stuff within it. And, and this is a DS game, a horror game for the DS. Both of these games, you know, Dementium 1 and 2. <coughs> Love those games. Hard as hell, especially the first one. Spyro 2, Ripter's Rage. PS1, Booklet. Nicely, de nicely de designed. I can't say that fast. Yeah, that's for the PS One. Grand Theft Auto Two. So okay, book it. Final Fantasy Seven. Of course, this booklet is gonna look good. Nicely, nicely designed. Looking nice. Spider Man Two for PS One. Oh, 
There's a lot of other games I had on uh, PS1, which I don't got the booklets to, like Fighting Force and all kind of other stuff. So, Contra Shattered Soldier for PS2. Love that game. Neo Contra. Love this game, too. My favorite Contra game inside the series, though, is Super Contra. Peter Jackson King Kong for PS2. Burnout Revenge for PS2. Oblivion. Like I said, I own more than one booklet, so here's the one that looks in pretty much mint condition, except for the pages I folded a long time ago. But it's in mint condition. Or near mint condition, I'll say. Army of Two, super thin, horribly designed. Another Gears of War 2 booklet. Another Borderlands booklet. I think I already showed this already. Yep, first album right here. I don't think I'm lying. Got a work collection. Super thin, but it does have some good art inside of it, though. <clears throat> Halo Combat Evolved, the first Halo game. Even this game has a lot of good art design. You know, all the Halo booklets have some good art. Splinter Cell uh, Stealth Action, the first Splinter Cell game. Sports Champion, Motor Storm, Portal 2, super thin and horrible, and I, I ain't gonna say horribly designed, but it's super thin, and I always say horribly designed, it's, it's, it's not, it's thin, I mean, come on now, you could've put more art inside this, could've put more knickknacks inside this, but it's like three pages. Uncharted 2 has a little treasure book feel to it, you know, so, flip through, has like, Oh no, that's Uncharted 1 that has a treasure book feel to it. This one, this one still has some pretty good art design. You see, like it does have like a little treasure book feel to it. Got like a little tape right here in the little corners and stuff. Like holding up, like holding the book together and stuff. But like I like how Uncharted 1 booklet looked more better. Fatal Frame, I'm proud to own this Fatal Frame booklet, Fatal Frame 3. Because this in particular booklet is a size super mint condition. Like there's not no marks on the pages whatsoever. No bend, no creases, no nothing. Everything is like smooth. Like I just barely took it out the box or something. Which I did take it out the box, but you know. Devil May Cry 3. Nicely, uh, not nicely designed. I'm thinking about a different Devil May Cry game. <clears throat> Ghost Recon. Onimusha. Yeah, that's in black and white. Still got a lot of pages though. Kingdom Hearts. Like how this looks. Looks pretty cool. Nice little cartoonish art and stuff like that. This is like one of the main arts I like. I got like how this little art look right here. You know. With the little uh that's actual art with the little I forgot what it what it's called, the little certain little things you use to draw with. Pretty cool art design. Armor Core Last Raven. Armor Core Nine Breaker. Only Musha 3 again. Twisted Metal Black. Love how this damn thing looks. Looks like a little journal. That's what it's meant to look like. Look just like a damn journal with like little wrinkled pages and like little stuff like paper clipped onto here, stapled and stuff like that. Yeah, I love how it looks. Got a War 3. Nicely designed. Love the art design. Like how it looks like, you know, actual drawn art design inside the booklets and stuff like that. Off Road Fury, Sonic, Army of Two again, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the third time. Battlefield Back Company 2 again. Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter 2, Sprinter Cell, Conviction. See, this is like a game that barely came out. Look at this. Horrible. horrible. Like, where the color at? You at least could have put some color. Come on now. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Seen it. Tetris. The outfit. This booklet is pretty super designed very well. Given the fact that this game is not even a triple A game. It's only like a 1A game. But, you know, it's a fun game. Overlooked. Gears of War. Like I said, all the Gears books look good. Just like the Halo books. All the Halo books look good. Spencer so Double Agent. It's an Evil 5. This looks pretty good. You know, a lot of in-game art design. Rock Band 2. Sonic Genesis Collection. 99 Nights with my little girlfriend on the cover. I played so many hours of this game. It's in black and white. I wish it was in color. But, you know, it's pretty thick. It's not all skimpy and stuff like that. Left 4 Dead. 
nicely designed, even though it's got got a little bit of pages. You know, I like how it shows like the enemies and stuff like that, and you know, it shows exactly what you need to see, and shows like you you know all the stuff. It's like a booklet that's skimpy, but with more to it. Siren in mint condition. Haven't played this yet. I don't know how it is. Played the PS2, some of the PS2 one, the demo, and I didn't really. The controls kind of off. I'm scared to play the PS2 version. Hopefully, hope uh, thinking that it's gonna be worse than the PS3 one. Shout out to Colossus booklet. Glad to own this booklet as well for a rare game and this booklet inside mint condition. Cause you notice, you know, a lot of these games you buy it online, it'd be like 50 or 60 bucks, sometimes even 80 bucks. And then if you buy it used, it don't come with no damn booklet. You know, like, well, disc only, disc only, disc only. Cannon Lynch, Dead Man. Star Wars, Knight of the Old Republic. Have never even played this game yet. Still own it on original Xbox. Still got it. I'm going to play five minutes to see how it is, and that's it. Might end up playing it on the PC before I even play it on uh, the original Xbox. This is not the MMO. This is the... Uh, the actual single player game, so I'm gonna get confused with the Star Wars Knight of the Old Republic MMO. Crash Nitro Kart, love that game. Love Crash Team Racing better actually on PS2 or on PlayStation 1. I mean, Layer, underrated PS3 game in my opinion. This game is pretty good for its time. Think about when this game came out. This game came out a long ass time ago, so for its time, it was good. You know, a lot of people complain about the game is horrible, stupid. I'm road to number three, try to get so many people inside this game on the 360, you know, so many people ignore me about this game, ignored me. This is a good game, it's overlooked on the consoles, but highly looked at on PC because it's the original PC game. I don't think they ever should have put this on consoles because some people, so many, this is so underrated on the consoles. It's made by Epic, that's why, you know, a lot of Gears of War characters look like characters from Unreal because they're based off the Unreal characters. This give you a little bit of history lesson. Armor Core 3, my favorite Armor Core game to this date. Mass Effect. I'm going to show you the difference between Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 booklet. Look at Mass Effect 1 booklet. Look nice, right? Nice color, vibrant color, showed you characters and everything. Look real nice, real nice, real nice. You know, real nice, real sexy. Mass Effect 2. See what I'm getting at? You see what I'm getting at? Same amount of pages as Mass Effect 1, but you see what I'm getting at? Black and white. I mean, stop being cheap. You're making millions of dollars, billions of dollars off these games. Stop being cheap. Ain't nobody gonna buy a, a strategy guide just to see color. Madden 06, R09, I mean. Lost Planet is designed real good too. Nice, vibrant color. Dead or Alive. Couldn't even be touched inside this game. I used to be tearing this game up. That girl and that girl right there. If I choose both of them, it's over. Assassin's Creed. Stand Play 2. Yet. Or Revelations, or other ones, but I love Assassin's Creed 1. So many people complain about this game. There wasn't even nothing wrong with this game. It's the first game of its kind. I ain't going to complain about something that's the first of its kind. Wow. Now they changed so much about the game, I'm scared to play any of the other ones, except for Silent Hill. I mean, except for uh, Assassin's Creed 1. I mean, yeah, Assassin's Creed 1. Okay, here's Rock Guitar Hero 3. Silent Hill Origins. I'll spell it 2. I'm going to go through the rest of these. Got to run out of time. Grab the Fallen 4. Demon Souls, Call of Duty 2, Halo 3, like I said, all the Halo booklets are sexy, I show Halo 3 booklet though already, Chris Warren, Call of Duty 3, Dead Rising, didn't like that game, this is the most disappointing booklet ever. Fucking Gears of War 3 with one page. With no page. I mean, it's a front and cover. The front cover and the back damn cover. What kind of shit is that? It's a ripoff. Fucking bastards. That shit kind of shit pisses me off. Like, literally, you see I'm pissed. That shit kind of shit pisses me off. Like, that's just that's straight up rip. Who want to wanna play your fucking game that don't have no pages inside the booklet? I mean, come on now. At least give us a presentation before you put the game inside there. Anyway, it's Fredo Frame booklet in near mint condition. Fiddle Frame 2, got all the bookets for all my Fiddle Frame, so glad to have them, it's hard to find, PSP, uh, what's this, God of War 2, <clears throat> and I'm out of time, but, you know, you can look at the other, rest of them real fast, you know, can't really go through all of them individually, don't want to make another video, so with that said, it's been your boy, Deep Side, about the Universal Gamer, 
And yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.